Hello everyone, it is Lucy and we are in Tokyo! So today we're going to go and check out Kawenji. I have been there before, but only quite briefly. I feel like I didn't get enough time to explore. For those of you who don't know, Kawenji is very popular for having really great secondhand fashion and thrifting. A lot of people seem to compare it to how Shimakitazawa was until it got popular. I personally haven't been to Shimakitazawa since my last trip, which was a few years ago, but I, I still like Shimakitazawa. But in saying that, since I am on the hunt for some thrifting and people are saying that Kawenji has a kind of better prices, and just better sort of finds in general, it's not as busy. I'm gonna go to Koenji first. So as much fun as I'm having it sitting and chilling and chatting about going to Koenji, let's like actually go to Koenji. So I'm in Koenji and I've just stopped off in a little park because I wanted to eat some goodies from the bakery I just went to. So this one is a limited edition. It's matcha and sakura white bean paste bagel, I think. And then this one is just a melon pan. It smells really good. Mm, that is so good. It's got like kind of a, like a chewy exterior and then like the paste is down the bottom. Oh. That is delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely gonna demolish that, but let's try the melon pan. I said it was a vanilla one. Look at that, how perfect that is. So pretty. Okay. Let's give it a bite. It's a little bit drier than the other one. It's almost like a chiffon cake kind of like texture. But at the bakery, they did seem to have a lot of different like specialty, like different flavored bagels. And this one seemed to be the like limited edition one. So if you do end up going, I would highly recommend you to get whatever flavored bagel they have going on. Cause this is, mm, this is so good. <laughs> Nails done, I've had a coffee, and now we're gonna go and check out some off shops. Okay, I thought I was gonna be walking for a little bit long before I ran into one, but Koenji is full of them, and so here is the first one. Reuse Selectifana is the first thrift shop of the day, and it is a doozy. Looking back over all the footage, I actually think this is one of the more interesting vintage shops due to its curation. It's a real mix of a bunch of different things and the pricing is quite varied with pieces under 1000 yen to more expensive pieces. But to be honest, I kind of think all of them were priced really fairly. There are a lot of pieces for retro lovers like Mary Quant and some really nice pieces made of wool, cashmere and silk. This shop, like most places in this video, also have a range of shoes and bags, usually some designer ones as well. And typically all of them just seem to have kind of a mix. Um, some brands are more generally popular than others, so Louis Vuitton you'll see a lot of. But this store did seem to have quite a genuine mix, but I will say they leaned more towards like European vintage pieces kind of across the board. The vibe is definitely a little bit more out there and kind of like gaudy maximalist auntie energy, but the shop is packed full of really well-maintained true vintage pieces. Okay, that op shop was a really promising start. They did have some music playing in the store, so I'm probably going to, for a lot of these, just have clips, maybe a little bit of voiceover. Also, just as a heads up, a lot of stores don't let you film inside, so for some of them, I may not be able to film inside. That's totally okay. But for that store, I just went up to the people working there and I asked them if the camera was okay, and they said it was all right, um, provided I was quiet and not talking, which they were playing copyright music very loudly, so worked for me anyway. They had a lot of really cute stuff in there, and I feel like a lot of people, when they see like secondhand shops, they always talk about how how, you know things are really expensive but I think a lot of people are going to consignment stores that one was kind of a mix so they had lots of kind of more affordable things like under $10 but they had some more expensive pieces that I felt were justified in the price 
But next up, let's go to Mode Off, which is part of a chain. Um, it's called Book Off. And last time I went there, I found some really, really good pieces for a really good price. So hopefully we'll be lucky today. Modoff is an absolutely huge secondhand store with a well-organized variety of pieces, primarily a mix between fast fashion and local Japanese brands or department store brands, but they also have a pretty wild selection of designer pieces too. A lot of established thrift and secondhand chains in Japan have these like section dividers for particular brands, which I found really handy when I was on the hunt for particular things. But you'll also find other non-listed brands of interest just hidden within the racks. What's wild about a lot of Japanese thrift stores to me is the way they'll just have a really sought after vintage piece just hanging on the racks, albeit with security tags. <laughs> But they had a Galliano era Dior piece, which I thought was a little bit bonkers to encounter in the wild. They also have the same dividers for some more upmarket department store Japanese brands that you might be familiar with if you're into J fashion. And compared to their regular retail prices, they really come down in price and become a really good deal. Most franchise stores like this will have a big cabinet with the designer bags, jewelry, watches, etc. But it's not all designer, expensive kind of stuff. They also have a huge range of just general bags, shoes to thrift as well. They also had a great men's selection upstairs with cool jackets and boots and whatnot, but menswear is not really my forte. But I do remember visiting this location with my boyfriend a few years ago and he thought it was cool. I nearly bought this t-shirt and I didn't because I'm trying not to lean on graphic tees for all of my outfits, but I kind of regret it. <laughs> Alrighty, I had a bite to eat and now I'm going to check out Don Don Down on Wednesday. There used to be a store in Shibuya, but it closed. So I don't know if there's many left, but apparently it's good. Don Don Down in Koenji is, I believe, the only remaining location of this iconic thrift store, which as its name suggests, does special discounts on Wednesdays. The first floor is unisex slash menswear, with the second floor being a women's wear haven. Very well organized and color coordinated with a combination of vintage and secondhand pieces ranging from everyday style to more unique pieces and the obligatory Japanese thrift store selection of Disney t-shirts. As well as a small designer range including a rack of Burberry trenches. I found some pretty solid novelty thrifting finds here, which provided solo travel me a little bit of afternoon amusement. As well as these very cursed Nike tabby shoes and a Technicolor dream coat. such cute stuff, but I didn't find anything, unfortunately. Okay, so basically the entire main street in Koenji is full of vintage shops. I've been into a couple, but so far, quite a few of them, especially if you're from America or the UK or Australia or whatever, there seems to be a lot of imported vintage that I personally think is a little bit overpriced. It's not necessarily a particularly nice quality, it's just that it's like foreign, if that makes sense. So um, that stuff kind of mid, um, but we'll see what else we can find. I nearly didn't film in here because to be honest, I feel this place more than others is just a little bit overpriced. The second floor is the women's wear and it's a really colorful selection of mostly European and American vintage pieces. 
If you're from those areas or locales, I feel like you'll find these pieces to be like cute, but overpriced for what they are. And you could probably find similar items close to home. But in saying that, I do feel like the range is really colorful and fun to browse nonetheless. As we move up the street, we approach Kiki 2, the little sister to Kiki, which we'll also see. The decor of the store was my favorite of any I saw in Koenji. It's like a pastel vintage dreamland. Everything is sorted into color category and there's just so much vintage packed in here from dresses to blouses, as well as a really wide selection of more casual pieces like retro jumpers and t-shirts in literally every pastel color combo you could imagine. If you're into feminine style and obviously a pastel color palette, I would say this is a must do. store assistant was really lovely um, I tried something on but it's just it didn't fit me right unfortunately um, but I really really like that store that was super super cute and very much like my vibe this is the big sister to Kiki 2 and sort of like the same store in a different font a very similar kind of range and selection but more AmeriCorps bright primary colors and a lot of really cool American vintage denim I visited quite a few places on the day that I filmed this video and both Kiki and Kiki 2 were locations where I actually tried things on. Unfortunately, they didn't work out, which was sad, but yeah, these two were definitely in some of my favorites of the whole day. Just the most fun and interesting pieces. I want to say that so far all of the staff have been really super nice wherever there has been staff if they're available i've asked them if i can use my camera and they've all been really really nice and said it's totally fine so um yeah just ask if you're not sure i really can't stress to you guys how many stores there are there are so so many Okay, I wasn't able to film in 2nd Street, but I would recommend you going there. It has a really, really big selection. It is a huge store, super well organized. Everything was really clean and just like easy to look through. Yeah, I didn't find anything, unfortunately. It seems to be the theme of the day. I will say I am like quite picky and unless I like totally love something, I'm kind of unlikely to grab it. But um, we're gonna head to Treasure Factory now, which is also a really kind of a big secondhand chain. So let's check it out. Another blockbuster thrifting secondhand chain you are going to find all across Japan is Treasure Factory. Treasure Factory, aka Trefac, is absolutely chonkers full of secondhand pieces. Compared to some of the other stores you'll see in this video, this one feels like just a tad bit more chaotic. It's still very organized compared to thrift stores I'm used to, like locally back home. but it is a wider range of items I feel in general, like just the curation, just, bit, just more, more. <laughs> Didn't grab anything, but did find some notably slay finds, like this bag that looks like bread. A really gorgeous velvety Jill Stewart dress. and this stunning Kate Spade dress. Okay, Treasure Factory had a big selection and I actually realized as I was in there, I think I actually went there before, like years back when I last went to Japan and went to Koenji for the first time. I was in there and I was like, 
deja vu. Anyway, I am heading down the exact same street because there is another treasure factory on the same street. So we're gonna check that one out. Trefac 2 Electric Boogaloo. This store is a bit smaller and more upmarket and select with its items, and they have a whole wide selection of European vintage and designer ready to wear pieces, as well as some bags and shoes. Overall, a little bit more bougie, a little bit more specifically curated and kind of fancy vibes than the other one. So that treasure factory was a little bit more upmarket. It seemed like most of the pieces there were kind of brand names, um, a lot of like Italian and like designer kind of stuff. Again, really nice, but nothing that really like spoke to me. So we'll keep going. This is a little boutique in the main strip of Koenji that stocks a very selection of vintage designer, but primarily Louis Vuitton and Chanel, maybe a little bit of Hermes sprinkled in. I'm not typically a Louis Vuitton monogram canvas girly, but if you are, amazing news because it is everywhere in Japan. Like there is no shortage. They also had some rarer pieces, which I've like seen online kind of, and it was just cool to see them in real life. And overall, I do feel like the pricing wasn't really crazy for the pieces they had. But the primary selection of brands and the kind of pieces they stocked were not really my personal taste. So I'm probably not the expert on if these pieces were well priced or not, but yeah, definitely worth checking out. Now, Baz store was a place that I didn't actually have on my list. I just kind of saw it as I was about to leave Koenji and I'm so glad that I went in. This is also a chain that I ended up finding a few other locations on my trip across Japan, but it did have a really fun, affordable selection. And it was a mix of import vintage as well as secondhand J fashion brands. It was super fun to browse through, just a whole mix of different stuff for a bunch of different styles. And it was Baz Store where I found this V-neck sweater from Banana Republic that I bought for less than, I wanna say US $25. And I have already worn it a bunch, so yeah, really good find. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a purchase. Happy Birthday to You is another one for the pastel 90s anime nostalgia girlies. This is a really small boutique with a curation of Fairy K inspired designs and both vintage and upcycled original pieces. As I came in and was browsing, the attendant at the store was actually using the sewing machine at the counter, putting some lace on a piece. And this was the second place of the day where I found a cool piece. I got an upcycled denim skirt that I am obsessed with. Okay, I nearly didn't go into that store because I thought it was maybe closed because on maps it was a little confusing, but it was there. And I saw this like denim skirt. I didn't get a chance to show you because I was just like too busy trying it on, but um, it's so cute and I can't wait to show it to you later. Also, the staff member was super lovely. Honestly, like everywhere, <laughs> most of the staff members have been super lovely, but especially like the smaller boutiques um, where there's just, like just one or two people working, they're super nice. That's so funny. I've literally been thrifting for hours and I found like kind of not really anything, but then in the last like 
five, 10 minutes, I just found like two things that I'm obsessed with, so yay. And then I finished off a big day of thrifting by drinking a big old lemon sour and eating some budget yakitori on my lonesome. <laughs> so that was my little vlog slash guide to Koenji for thrift shopping. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're planning a trip to Tokyo, it may have helped you out a little bit or at least provide you with some thrifting eye candy and entertainment. I've also popped together a little free map over on Thatch that I've linked below so you'll be able to see all the locations of the places I visited and some notes and save it for yourself. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!